Does this work for mumbling? Does this work for a stuttering problem that I have? Does this work for my articulation when it comes to certain sounds? In general, I'm going to say it depends, and it depends on two different factors. Is this a physical problem or is this a psychological problem? Hey, it's Lady Tina from The Social School. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Comment below because it's really going to help my engagement and have this trending because usually Q&As don't do really well, but I've been seeing a lot of comments in a lot of my clear speech videos and I wanted to answer them. I do my best to answer these comments, but some of them are either repeats or they're not specific enough for me to answer. A lot of times, clear speech is triggered by a stressor. The stressor could be a psychological one, like something catastrophic happened in your life, you have PTSD because of something, an event that happened, or it could be a physical stressor, where let's say you have cancer, or you had a heart stroke, or something happened to you physically, and it could be, quite frankly, anything, that then causes you to have less clear speech and the body is this wonderful complicated thing where something can happen on a one part of you which seems so irrelevant to your speech your speaking style but in fact it somehow goes into your speech you probably either already know what the core problem is or like many people they've done a lot of trial and error by the time you probably looked up clear speech at least you are aware you are problem aware you know that you don't speak as clearly as you possibly could and you clicked on it or perhaps you clicked on it just purely out of curiosity and you discover that oh crap i don't have the clearest of speech or you just simply enjoy my tongue twisters because they are fun more often than not a lot of people go on this whole entire journey of seeing a speech therapist or going to a doctor for a very different problem sometimes things like your microbiome being out of whack can affect you're speaking. If you have any type of muscular problems, whether it's in this area or maybe your legs, maybe your arm, maybe you're an athlete. I know a lot of athletes contacted me and they have this constant muscular stressor. That can cause clear speech problems because your muscles are so intertwined. So something that happens in your calves can actually affect your lower back. Something that affects your shoulders can actually affect your speech. The point I'm trying to make is that your body is very much so intertwined. Something that happens to you psychologically can affect a different part of your body. And that's just what happens. All of my videos, what I'm trying to address in the clear speech playlist specifically is the mechanics, the physical parts of the clear speech. What you can do is train up your clear speech to whatever baseline you are at right now. So for example, I have terrible clear speech naturally. And so even when I train up, there's a certain amount that I'm still, oof, I have to try extremely hard physically, but that's because my baseline is a lot lower than the average person. So if your baseline is either naturally lower or because you have some sort of stressor, either physical or psychological, that you have to train harder than other people. And I'm sorry, but life is not fair. Sometimes some people have clear speech deficiency, articulation deficiency that they have to train up and other people are just naturally wonderfully clear and articulate and good for them. But for people like us who have to work at it, you just have to be very conscious or hire an expert to have that feedback to you to make sure you're on track. Of course, I do know a large part of my audience is just a foreign speaker. So English is their second, third, or fourth language. And so therefore, it's a little bit harder because English is quite hard. English is also my second language as well. But when you are training in any other language, English or otherwise, 
there's so much that your mouth has to remember and do that it's just not used to and so it's something that you simply have to train and eventually it'll become a lot more natural to you so the big question is does my clear speech playlist work you can see in a lot of the comments that it clearly <laughs> works but it addresses a physical problem and it addresses specifically if you have muscular deficiency so you have to train certain muscles up that's what it's addressing specifically if it's a psychological problem or if it's a muscular problem that you cannot train up for one reason or another then it might not be enough you might have to see another expert in order to train this up by the way, I created a PDF of tongue twisters for free. You can look at it every morning and do specific tongue twisters to address certain articulation issues for you. So if you're interested in that, click on the description below. It's free. Just enter your email and you'll get the PDF. But make sure you are consistent with that because without consistency, you really don't see any results. And if you are results driven, be consistent. I cannot emphasize this enough when people comment hey look i tried this three times and it didn't work it <laughs> i i don't even know what to say to that because it just blows my mind that people think that you can go to the gym three times and you could get a six pack to to me it's just ludicrous some people it'll be a lot quicker because they are closer to a six pack to begin with some people it'll take a lot longer because they have to lose so much weight first so I don't know where you are on your journey. I don't know where your core baseline is. But if you are consistent and you keep going and you keep doing it and it is a physical muscular issue, then yes, you will improve, but you have to put in the work. Okay, so I can give you the tools, but if you don't actually use the tools, nothing is going to actually happen. It's not going to happen. <sighs> okay, rant is over. I know you're not the person. You're not the person because you are watching this video and you're educating yourself. So thank you for being the person who is a reason. All right, comment below because it'll really help me out on this video. These videos don't really get a lot of views. And so I'm really just doing it for my subscribers who are asking these questions and who are seriously having these issues and really want to know the answers to these questions. So comment below. If you have any detailed questions, please let me know. Comment below as well and just say, hey, thanks. Like put a tongue emoji down below and it'll make me feel so much better <laughs> for doing a video like this and for reading comments like, hey, I tried this three times and it didn't work. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> I hope to see you on the next video. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Hit the like button. It really helps me out and I will see you soon. Remember, go out there and raise your vibe.